Welcome to the one year update on the Privet Hedge. There isn't much of a change as we haven't had much rain and not much time has passed. But as you can see, they are still very green and growing. The main focus this time will be a light trimming. On the bottom of these privets, you can see new growth and we want to promote these so that they can fill in the gaps between each other. We'll be using garden snips or shears and a bucket of water for our clippings. This is so that you can grow new privets if you want. I'll do a few snips so you can get an idea of how to do this. And remember, I'm just learning as well. What you'll want to do is cut either before or after a node, which is a point where you see leaves or small branches. Make sure you put the clippings in water so they don't dry out and become unusable for propagation later. Here you'll be seeing me working in real time and oh yes, I'm a shorty at 5'4", though I guess I'll make a good stand in for how tall these have gotten in the year. Here on this side, I've been lucky and they've kind of grown uniformly here. So I'm just going to cut the very tops of them and that's probably going to be uh, good enough. I'm pretty confident that this is probably going to be the very first side that's going to look like a hedge. Here I am again working in real time, getting this job done pretty quickly. I highly recommend Mountain Dew. A lot of Mountain Dew. My bucket is fully loaded. Now we're going to sort through these and find the ones I feel will grow into new privets. You'll want to select the meatiest of the bunch as they are likely to root and save you a bit of growing time once they get established.
Preparing the clippings for propagation is very easy. You'll just want to remove the bottom leaves or branches from your chosen few. All right, we are done. The clippings are in and we'll check on them in a week or two. If you stayed with me till now, I want to thank you and hope this is helping someone out there. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I hope to see you on the next one.